What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about Saki Fua. Now, if you guys don't know, Saki Fua is currently in the warehouse. She just got into the warehouse today. So, I want to go ahead and talk about some of the things that changed with her, and my thoughts on the character and everything like that. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be wanting to know, what got changed? Did, did she get nerfed? Is she going to be horrible? Da -da 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 -da. So, anyway, starting off, she has the same shatter value, 13.9, and she has the same charge value, 8.0. She also has Frost Resonance, just like Ruby and all of the other units are going to get as well. But one thing I wanted to note is that her base stats did go up. Her original attack stat was 13, now it's 15, which keep in mind this scales, right? And what I mean by scales is you're multiplying this by the percentages that you're going to be using and you're multiplying it by, you know, the level scaling and everything like that. So 15 is going to scale a lot harder than 13 you know 15 times 10 would be 150 you know 13 times 10 would be 130 so it scales up so that's a really good addition her base attack went up by two her resistance went up by one and then her hp went up by 155 so she got 155 base hp increase so she did get buffs on her base stats so that's going to be really good even though some of her stuff got you know decreased she did get a buff in the base stats. That's so going to be really nice. Uh, moving on to her dupes. Her one star got changed. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this means. Because originally her one star said double the damage of flow and counterattack. But with this, it says increase by one. But it's like... 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 would be double. So I'm not sure if this is a change at all, or if they just translated it weird for the first one, right? Uh, the 3 star did get changed from 900 damage to 350, which her having increased base attack, um, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I, she's still going to hit like a truck. Anyone that thinks she's not going to be good, you don't know what you're talking about. She's going to be broken still. Or not broken, but really, really good. Uh, so 350 from 900 same and the five star one's the same and then the six star it, this used to be 20 percent. now it's 11 percent. so it got decreased by nine percent so overall she didn't even, there wasn't even that many big of a change for her dupes um as far as that goes it's pretty much the same uh or not the same but similar not that bad and then uh she got changed on her skill there's a lot that got changed with the skill, but that's because the skill has a lot of different stuff in it. Her skill, for the most part, uh, got decreased, and then her discharge damage got decreased as well. But the thing about this is, like I said, her, it, it's scaling with her base attack, and the base attack for her is higher, and apparently the mobs and stuff in the world are going to be decreased in damage and tankiness as well so overall i think she's going to be still she's still going to be really really good i i can't say this enough because i know there's so many people i see talking about how she's not going to be good and it's just not true uh you look at ruby ruby got decreased by 40 50 60 percent and ruby is i'm pretty sure the best damage dealer in the game she's the best unit in the game right now now as far as if saki will be i don't know but with Ruby getting decreased by that much and her still being that good, I am not worried about Saki Fua at all. So for anybody that, you know, is worried, the best thing for you to do, and this goes for anyone that's a light spender or free to play, if you guys are unsure, just wait. I'm going to summon for her as soon as she comes out. I'm going to drop my summon video and I'm going to build her and I'm going to be testing her over the next couple of days. So you guys will have gameplay to watch and see and then you can get a feel and understand you know how you know how good she is if you want to get her whatever the case may be so as far as that goes if you are unsure just wait let people test the character out and then at that point you can make the decision on your own she's going to be out for three weeks anyways you may as well get your you know three weeks in or not even three weeks but like you know a week maybe two if you if you're still not sure just to see how she works out and then you can go about your business and summon or not summon depending on what you want to do now it should be pretty obvious but the best team for her on release is going to be herself Subasa and Frigg and that's because Subasa and Frigg are DPS's, so she will get the attack resonance. And with getting the attack resonance, she will be dishing out as much damage as possible. If you guys are looking to run a tank build, 
uh, you can opt for the full ice tank team, which is going to be Saki Fua, Meryl, and then Frigg, right? That's going to be a really good team. Now, let's say you don't have Frigg. You can obviously opt to use Subasa if you want to. Let's say you want to run two tanks and then a healer. You can opt for Coco. And I'm just talking about all one element. Let's say you wanted to run these teams, but you, you wanted to run different elements. At that point, sky's the limit. If you want to run Saki and then Huma and then Nemesis or something, you can. If you like whatever teams you want to run, you can run those. But if we're talking mono teams, best DPS team is going to be Frigg, Subasa. Saki, and then if you want to run a tank team, it's going to be uh, Saki, Meryl, and then Frigg, or you can run, at that point, whatever else you want to run, it's pretty much up to you. So anyway, short video, I just want to talk to you guys about Saki because she is now in the game. She does have a story mission, but I'm not sure if we're going to get it, because if you look at the story missions right now, you'll notice it shows all of these. It shows Crow, Hilda, Claudia right so it doesn't even show Saki so I'm not sure if we're gonna get Saki's story mission uh, simply because it's not here now who knows we might get it we might not I don't know we'll have to wait and see as far as that goes uh, also if you guys don't remember you can test Saki out in the training center once her banner releases so for any of you guys that want to you know test her out see how she does you can do that right here when she comes out but anyways that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys did in the comment section about that being said i will see you guys next time peace